you know, there's a reason why the Bible in talking about how difficult it is to find a capable wife or a woman of virtue or virtuous wife. It, it said it was very difficult. At Proverbs 31, it said, a wife of notable character, who can find? She is uh, worth four more than rubies, basically saying that it's difficult to find a good woman and that a good woman in a man's life is more valuable than a lot of the hidden treasures in the earth that typically spend their time digging for. And so I guess this is just my my opinion from my experience. I guess living both had live had been had living both ends of the spectrum of living, you know, the church life, the straight and narrow life, and then living the life of promiscuity. And I would say if you're a man, especially if you're a young man nowadays, I would say to steer clear of the latter. Um I think the the words that the Apostle Paul told to Timothy are true where he said a large house contains not only vessels of gold and silver but also of wood and clay it says some indeed for honorable use but others are far are for common use and I say this is very true when it turn when it comes to a lot of the women that are discussed in the red pill alpha male MGTOW videos where men are getting themselves involved with some of the more common type of women are not getting themselves involved with and digging and searching and and spending time looking for a woman who is more capable and basically what the scripture is just saying is that you know the vessels in the home are just referring to like bowls right you've got you know maybe you've got some you know, silverware or whatever that you save for when you have special guests, and then you have bowls that you use for every day for eating breakfast, and then you've got some that you use to hold garbage in, right? And so it's basically saying that there are all sorts of types of people that you will come in contact with, and if you can stay clear of the more people who are less honorable, you will fare better in life. And I would say definitely in terms of the amount of women um, that I have been with personally, I would say I would have fared far better avoiding the vast majority of them um, and just living a life trying to find a more capable person to have a relationship with. And that, that's basically my advice for a lot of the young male, for the, a lot of the young males who are, I guess, becoming, as they say, more red pill aware is to be careful who you take advice from. Um, there are some people that even use the Bible and say, you know, even the Bible promotes, you know, men to be single, like, which is true. It does. When you choose to use your singleness to serve God, that's that's the uh, that's basically the context of those scriptures. That it, yes, the Bible did encourage men to be single in the context of remaining single for the purpose of serving God not for the purpose of living a promiscuous lifestyle. In fact, the Apostle Paul told Timothy he did recommend singleness, but he said, if you found yourself as a young man not living your life chaste and not remaining um, you know, free from the, from the immorality of fornication, then yes, go get married so that you can have those desires fulfilled and go about your day serving God careful of the context of what people use the bible and i know that there's some there are very few, it's it, it's rarely used in red pill you know talk about red pill in the bible etc um i think my advice as a young man still young i'll be 40 um 40 in september and i could say looking back uh, i would say a lot of what most men need in terms of the advice the wisdom that will lead them in the right way i would advise for most young men to take up the Bible. It will give you the knowledge and the wisdom that you need to be able to make better decisions in life. It'll help you to make choices on steering clear of many of the vices that get many young men into trouble. Um, and it would also help you uh, to live a better lifestyle, to be able to 
um, I guess, attract the person that you're looking for because the pump and dump lifestyle has many side effects. One of them, obviously, STDs, you know, getting somebody accidentally pregnant, getting a woman that you don't want to have a, um, a child with pregnant, even if you use protection. I think, obviously, we know most people don't use protection. As a nurse, I am well aware that most people don't use protection when it comes to um, sex, myself included in, in my past. Um, I would say you're better off just trying to find someone, even if you have to move. I think most people are even afraid to move. I mean, even the Bible says when when uh, Abraham wanted to find a wife for his son Isaac, he had to go back to his homeland, right? He was living in a different region, and he had to travel very far to find a wife, a capable wife, for his son. And I would say that if you're a man who's out there looking for a relationship, don't be afraid to travel. I mean, I come across many women. I've been traveling for the past couple of years, and I come across many women who are seeking relationships in other countries. And while I would not bring them here, because like I said before, they will be infected by the society in which we live in today, sometimes you're better off just moving and moving into another region, living a much sim simpler lifestyle if you're looking to have a successful long-term relationship. But it doesn't mean that you live your life as they say, you know, blue pill or as a simp or as a beta, like a lot of those, um, a lot of those labels that many men are using are not as relevant as you might think, not as relevant as you, as they are made to appear outside of the context of these type of women, women who are easily manipulated, women who live with various vices and who are basically swayed by all the bad things that are going on in the world. Um, I would say that there are many capable women, especially in many different countries. All you have to do is find one, pick one. It really is that easy to be able to find a relationship with a young woman. I'm talking under under 25 years old, you know, in another country. But you have to be willing. You have to be willing to move and live a much simpler lifestyle. This is just my. My advice, um, as a man who's, like I said, who's lived on both ends of the spectrum, I have since, um, I guess, as I say, done my best to stop living that promiscuous lifestyle and try to have more meaningful relationships because the end results are detrimental to the life of a young man.